Are you an overachieving oldest, a crowd-pleasing middle, a daredevil youngest? Do you even believe in these things? Birth order. Let's rap about it. Hey siblings, what's up? I'm Trace and this is D News. How do you feel about birth order? Since the late 1800s and the founding of psychology, people have commissioned studies on birth order and how it will affect our lives. I have rarely found an oldest who doesn't believe in birth order in some capacity. I've also had many a conversation with some of my only child friends who don't think it exists at all. Well, consider this. 21 of the first 23 astronauts were oldest, as are a majority of Congress. Of course, this is all just anecdotal evidence, so what does the science actually say? A psychologist at the time of Sigmund Freud named Alfred Alder was one of the first to suggest, at least in print, that birth order affected personality. Over the next century, psychotherapists would fight over whether the placement of someone's birth in a family would impact their strengths and weaknesses and overall psychology. Sometimes everyone thought, yes, this makes so much sense, while other times they thought it was just silly dribble. Then in 1997, a book was written called Born to Rebel by Frank Sullaway that claimed finally to have the definitive answer to this birth order debate. For example, firstborns, according to this book, were more conformist and lastborns were more creative and would reject conformity. That birth order affects whether a person is introverted or extroverted and so on. Immediately, there was more debate and then controversy. Since then, there have been dozens of studies. It's been debated again and again and again. Unfortunately, to truly understand how someone grew up, you'd have to get hundreds and hundreds of data points. In 2010, some other researchers attempted to do just that by collecting 200 birth order studies and combining the results. They found that yes, oldest tend to have higher academic success and are motivated people influenced by authority. Middles have a fear of not belonging, but are the most sociable. Youngest are the most rebellious and are the most likely to become alcoholics, but are also the most empathetic and agreeable. They also found onlys have a higher need for that achievement and some behavioral problems that are also more selfish. But no two families are the same. So again, it is difficult to say. What most psychologists agree on is that the firstborn has the highest advantage and the lastborn has the highest level of parental freedom, which makes sense. The first child gets to enjoy a brief period where they get 100% of parental resources all to themselves. And then those resources get divvied up with each successive sibling. So what do you think? Does birth order matter? Tell us your thoughts down below. Bonus points if you can guess what I am. Am I an only? Am I a third? Am I a seventh kid, but not the baby? Am I an oldest? Am I a middle? Talk it out below. And thanks a lot for watching D News, everybody.